What's going on, guys? Welcome back. I got another Fallout New Vegas Let's Play Cut Up voiceover, whatever it is. If you guys watched the last video, if you are a fan of this little series I'm doing, then you'll know that I had to do a voiceover because I accidentally never turned up the gain on the back of my uh, my microphone. So this episode, the previous, and the following will all have voiceovers. Might actually even be a little bit more fun than the regular way I've been doing it. So without further ado. Like, comment, subscribe, and let's get into it. First thing I did after leaving hey, Boulder City here, was, really? first off, realize that I left Boone there, but I had a long conversation with Victor that ultimately went nowhere. Nice to see the happy cowboy, robot boy, but I didn't really give a fuck, and ultimately, I don't think it made any kind of difference. Seen Boone, went back to go get him, and then seen the beautiful Las Vegas Lake, I don't know what it's called, Lake Las Vegas, but... Went down the hill right after and seen some Meyer Lurk men. That's why I love Fallout though, these big reveals of landscapes among the wasteland. Eventually I realized the gun's not going to do it and I do have a significantly higher unarmed or melee damage. So I go and crush these Meyer Lurk skulls. So much so that this one decides to flee in fear. He literally is an enemy still. Turn around, it's like maybe he's gone. No, I'm not gone. I'm going to chase you and murder you, you swamp creature motherfucker. So... Boone decides to get involved and jump the gun when I actually decide in my head maybe I shouldn't kill this guy maybe I should try to like talk it out with him that doesn't work so I decide to throw a piece of dynamite at him and it's as spectacular as you'd imagine you get to see Joe Biden squatting and an explosion of crap I make my way to this NCR tent and I realize quickly there is no mission here I kind of fast forwarded all through this so you guys don't have to sit through me talking to two guys who are essentially just sitting here not doing anything and not even killing the wildlife that keeps threatening me. So I have to go do it. I go back. I kill some more of these crab people. Crab people, Myler, Swamp Lake people, whatever the fuck they're called. And you get this one brolic motherfucker just standing up, just taking wax to the chest like he's doing a fucking Instagram workout video and trying to impress people. All right, so after this, I think I make my way to Camp Golf. Camp Golf is just outside New Vegas. It is apparently one of the oldest posts that they used to fight I Caesar's Legion at, and now it is a nobody, has been I'm washed up nice. asshole spots that nobody wants to deal with. To I meet this dude who's That's super fucking sweet, probably the nicest down. guy I've ever met in my life. life. Following that, I meet Poindexter, who's probably the most annoying person I've ever met in my life. He's channeling his inner Harry Potter, and just kind of reminds me of an overall However, douchebag who I never want to hang out with smart ass piece of shit on this base. and I think that's the reputation amongst the base that this dude has I go up to Mags after this Mags seems to be a bitch but she seems to have her head on straight with what they need and then I go up to Raz who is a former drug addict I believe great con or somebody who was living in Red Rock Canyon uh, and he's pretty much calling how it is for something other than soldiering you dig Following that, I go to Up talk to Sergeant the McCready. In the Vegas. Back in the day, this camp was the hot spot for conflicts with the Legion, Raider tribes, you name it. These days, I spend most of my time trying to beat a little discipline into the soldiers under my command. I've gotten soft with no action. I volunteer to help them out. You're welcome to try. Hell, maybe they'll listen to somebody they don't see as an authority figure. So I immediately run out to them and start talking to them, seeing what they can do. And it seems like O'Harahan, O'Hanarahan, O'Hanarahan, whatever his name is, decides that he has the best opportunity for my character, the type of character I've built thus until this point, which is speech-based and gun and melee-based, basically. Just kind of smash you up if I can't talk you out of it. This guy wants to get everybody hooked on fucking drugs, so I decide immediately his plan is borderline fucking stupid, if not stupid as shit off the right off the bat. And then Mags, for some reason, convinces me that since she has the most level head, that teaching soldiers how to use grenades and guns would be a great idea. Unfortunately, going into this, I didn't really realize that I would also need explosives on top of having great guns. Luckily for me, I had great guns right off the bat. I teach these fucks what to do. They do a great job. They take five, five or six shots and improve as a team. But now is the trouble. I don't know anything about explosives. That's why Easy Pete didn't want to have sex with me. And they start to blow themselves the fuck up. Thank God they're dummy grenades because these guys are stupid as shit. I consider them getting drugs for them because they're that... They're already basically fucking shit, impaired. Right. So why Definitely not? Give them a shot. But... I eventually go back, realize that talking to them and using uh, the pussy guys mm. plan That's is just a better overall option for me. Well, the squad, sure the squad seems to get a little bit better. 
I decide to skip gingerly back to the tent to tell the commander in hopes that he'd be enthralled. He doesn't give a fuck. He's a piece of shit. And I am off to Freeside in New Vegas. Thank you guys for watching. I really hope you guys enjoyed. Stay tuned for the next one. If you guys like this format better than the old one, please tell me in the comments. I need vocal uh, subscribers and stuff like that to let me know what works, what doesn't work. Thank you guys again. Have a great day. Appreciate you watching. Bye-bye.